Yes, sir. That's beautiful to hear. And here's your Menti code. Nine five zero four six eight. So once it said you start. Uh, could you write the formulas for one last time? Okay, nine five zero four six eight. Just, just, just six eight. Okay. So nine five zero four six eight. Good, yeah. Good, 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 good. Yeah. 11 questions okay so you guys want uh, me to write down the formula right okay so yes uh, as this is a mixed batch of vectors so what's the code so what's the code 950468 950468. So we will be discussing about multiple operations associated with vectors. We will be discussing about questions associated with motions. We will be discussing about something about projectile. Okay. Clear? Yeah. So that is why I don't want to state the formula. Tomorrow is your come on. That doesn't sound beautiful if you guys are asking for the formula at this evening. Okay. So sure. no, no video. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? How many of us are here? 54. Beautiful 54 people. Good. 53. <laughs> so, yes, uh, it's 8.02 now. I'm ready. Okay. 55 people and here we go to the question number one. Two forces A, 2 Newton and B, 3 Newton are acting along the lines X equal to 0 and Y equal to 0 respectively. Then the resultant of the force would be 1 comma 2. 1 comma 1, 3 comma 2, 2 comma 1. So there is a slight hint. Okay. So if you will just try to match the question and the options, you will get it correct. That's it. If you will just try to match the questions and the options, you will get it correct. Relax, good. 40 seconds done. All 40 people have responded. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Fifty four people already responded. Good. Woo, 40 people got it right. As I said, just try to match with the. Just stop it, mate. What happened? Why? No spamming, please. No spamming, okay? So, could you show the question once again? Yep, yep, yep. Here's question number one. Okay? No video. No video. Good. Thank you. No. Two forces A, 2 Newton and B, 3 Newton act along the line X equal to 0. Which line is X equal to 0? This is Y equal to 0. This is X equal to 0. So along the Y axis, it is 2. Along the X axis, it is 3. So it will be written as 3I plus 2J. G I. Got it or not? Got it or not? Got it or not? Got it. 
it's uh, yeah. yeah exactly see what happens so exactly so, so even i was confused it should be th- yeah. it should be 2i plus 3j no the answer is 3i plus 2j which is relax on the y axis what is the value of x what do you mean sir on the, throughout the y axis what is the value of x throughout the y axis what is the value of x what is this point oh, okay throughout yeah. the y axis the value of x is 0 right so the y axis yeah. is also called x equal to 0 throughout the x axis the value of y is 0 so x axis is also called y equal to 0 So instead of directly, yeah, so, so you're basically yeah. measuring x-axis with y-axis and yeah. y-axis with x-axis. X-axis, good. So in that case, what happened? Two newtons is toward x equal to zero means here. Three newton is toward y equal to zero means here. So this is three i and this is two j. Got, got it, it? Sir. Got Thank it. you, sir. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Very, good. very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Good. Let's look at the leaderboard. Forty people getting it right. Here we go. Nishant has a doubt. Okay, Nishant, we'll come back to you. Post the leaderboard. Mahika was the fastest one to reward. So, one second. One second. One second. Good. Yes, uh, Nishant. <laughs> that's beautiful but even if you consider that the options are not supporting them right got it nishant yeah nishant got it. very beautiful very good oh menti is on bright mode Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have created it in dark. One second. It won't take more than a second. okay all good yeah good here we go to the next question A is equals to this, and B is equals to this. Are two vectors? Then the angle between them will be. 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 good 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 in order to calculate angle you can take help of a dot product yes there are some special cases also where uh, by just some mere simple operations you can detect only if the two vectors are parallel or perpendicular if not then you have the comprehensive formula to be applied of dot product Yep. So 35 people have answered it. Good. And 20 seconds are remaining. Sir, send help, please. Send help, please. Send help, please. Send help, please. Manisha, I have sent the help. Have you received it? Kindly acknowledge. Okay. Nafal, Anush, Bitta have learned dot and cross both. Why? 
coincidentally the bizarreness is if i only teach you na <laughs> no problem good 23 23 7 relax relax and to parallel into the chat minus 1 relax 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 method number 1 A1 upon A2 equal to B1 upon B2 equal to C1 upon C2. Is it there? 2 upon minus 6 is 1 by minus 3. Minus 3 upon 9 is 1 upon minus 3. K upon minus 3 is 1 upon minus 3. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Good. Very good. Sure. Yeah. they are parallel but if this would have been a positive proportion then 0 degree as it is a negative proportion then 180 degree gi got it or not got it or not got it or not got it or not good very good very good. kind of thing some repeat so could you like explain it once again yep if you want it by see proportions okay gives you a parallel ka sense okay the sense of parallel but as this is a negative proportional they will not be parallel they will be anti parallel and the angle between anti parallel vectors is 180 degree suppose you don't remember this and you want to comprehensively go for the dot product so your answer will be like cos theta is equal to dot product of the two vectors divided by their individual magnitudes okay magnitude of a And magnitude of B. So, sure. yes, sir. Clear? You want me to operate that? So I got it. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Relax. Anush. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Vignesh. Okay. Okay. Relax. So, dot product of A to B is I multiply with I. Minus twelve, J multiply with J minus twenty seven, K multiply with K minus three, divided by magnitude of A, magnitude of B, magnitude of A is nine, four thirteen plus one fourteen, magnitude of B is clear, thirty six plus eighty one plus nine. Clear. One twenty-six. Yes, dear. Yes. Uh, that's what I initially stated. But Jim, that's what I initially stated. But our friends are like, sir, can you like do it by comprehensive method? We don't want to remember a property. Okay. Yeah, good. Now, dear, I am going to open the link. Okay, the YouTube link. Okay, if I am finding something terribly irrelevant, okay, so sure. Sales, how to make chutney? So it's not how to make chutney. It's Next question, and before we get the scoreboard. Vihan was the fastest one to respond. Leaderboard, and here we go to the third question. Two constant forces. One is A in newton, 
and another is b in newton act on a body and displace it from position r1 to the position r2 what is the work done if you remember in our last conversations we have had the discussion of how is work done calculated and the answer is work done is calculated by the dot product of force and displacement 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 so what is nota repeat that nota is none nota of the is... above none of the above oh. okay monisha no problem aditya that's not the proper place to respond right 22 people got it All right let's look at the scene yes uh, the primary thing which is required as a prerequisite for this question is that we should know that work is force dot displacement All right good what is force the total force is being supplied in two ways clear so the total force is brum brum 3 brum brum 2 brum minus 2 clear the total displacement is moving from r1 to r2 means final minus initial 7 minus 1 6 10 minus 2 8 5 minus minus 2 7 clear so the total variation the dot product is 6 3 18 8 2 16 14 14 okay this will deliver you 4 and this will deliver you 20 got it Can you please explain again? Yeah. Relax. Now this time in white color. Okay. Total force is being supplied from two sources. So what is total force? Total force will be the sum of A and B, which is one, two, three. I three one minus. 2g right 3 minus 1 2 minus 3 plus 1 minus 2k got it step number 1 calculation of net force good no 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 no, no. relax 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 manisha two constant forces a and b act on a body so when two forces act on a body we have to calculate the total force acting on the body and that will be calculated by a plus b okay so sure. good let's add i to i 3i minus j to plus 3j plus 2j plus k to minus 3j minus 2k got it Monisha and other dear friends. So there wasn't enough time. So relax. There was enough. Ninety seconds. Ninety seconds. Ninety seconds. So there was enough time. Ninety seconds were there. Ninety seconds is fairly enough, Ajay. Clear. Yeah. No problem. No problem. It's okay. Good. 
then comes this is what total force yeah then comes total displacement now the case where displacement is different you are going from r1 to r2 final minus initial will give you some answer what is final minus initial so the displacement is final minus initial 6i final minus initial 8j final minus initial 5 minus minus 2 is 7k got it okay good 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 stark formula repeat torque formula torque is r cross f r cross f stop okay you can note these down as cheat codes for tomorrow so what is r in that position vector oh okay yes sir yep Good. so now we have two vectors and we have to perform the dot product between them what is the dot product? I to I, 18. J to J, 16. K to K, minus 14. 2, 20. Got it? Got it? Got it. Anisha? Good. Very, very. Very good. Uh, I had to reload my thing when you were saying the talk um, formula. Could you just write it again? Okay. There will be two things which are expected to be asked. Okay. Work done. Work done is force multiplied by displacement but a dot product. Torque is position vector cross multiplied with force. Okay. Clear? Going on to the lead board. Good. Next question. For any two vectors A and B, if A cross B is equal to 0, the magnitude of C equal to A plus B is equal to square root of A square plus B square, just A plus B, square root of A square plus B square plus AB whole by root 2, or A square plus B square plus root 2 AB. Okay. The formula is derived or being taken up from square root of a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta. Good. Cross product formula. Cross product, you make a matrix I, J, K and all that. Okay. Yeah, this is all there. I tried using my head, but it's all machine. Good. Dhruv, very good. Matrix multiplication would have been required provided it would have been a cross product in the solution. The solution is an addition. So you have to go for additional requirement. What are the requirements in order to calculate the addition? 21, 12, 14, 15. Relax. Very easy. Relax. Look at it. For any two vectors a and b, if a cross b is 0, what do we mean by a cross b is equal to 0? That sine theta equal to 0 or theta equal to 0. Am I right? So what is the formula of cross product like that uh, magnitude of a yes, plus a magnitude cross of b. b is equal to magnitude of a magnitude of b sine theta 
multiplied with the unit vector n the only value zero making okay thingy is sine theta okay 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 good sine zero is zero got it theta is zero now when theta is zero then square root a square plus b square plus 2 a b cos zero will look like this which is a plus b whole square a plus b got it so could you just write that uh, cross product equation that you're written again so okay no problem dot product is magnitude of a magnitude of b cos theta cross product is magnitude of a magnitude of b sin theta multiplied with a unit vector mutually perpendicular to both a and b good no problem relax good 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 just refresh one time aditya that might help good let's look at the lead board could you repeat the last part okay shivam i'll come back and repeat it okay look here are you okay till we get theta equal to 0 shivam yes sir good now when theta is equal to 0 and we are calculating the addition we know that the magnitude of addition is given by a square plus b square plus 2 a b cos theta what is the value of cos 0 1 so this looks like a square plus b square plus 2ab which is a plus b whole whole square. the whole square will nullify the square root answer will be a plus b got it yes sir thank you very good very good very good very good, very good. so so basically that uh, the two so basically the uh, two ab cos theta will become zero right better uh, that would have become zero provided theta would have been 90 here that will remain then only causing the a square plus b square plus 2 a b to become a plus b whole square and hence nullify the square root got it oh. i understood sir so thank in you. cross product in the bracket do we add or subtract beta in cross product we don't have an addition or subtraction involved Achha, okay okay got it in the matrix method yes by default there has to be subtraction like this is this this is this suppose this is a b c d you will be writing a b minus c d clear 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 good good so yes, uh, the leaderboard, the leaderboard, the leaderboard. Shiram is leading the scenario. Good. Here we go to the next one. If a body covers one fourth distance in one at a speed one okay next one fourth at a speed two the next one fourth at a speed three and the last one fourth at a speed four i'm dead <laughs> i'm gone surrender <laughs> good <laughs> confusing right <laughs> why why it's not scary 
नथिंग अबाउट मी स्केल ओनली थिंग कमिंग टू माई माइंड इज वन फोर्थ वन फोर्थ फोर्थ Twenty people got it right. Beautiful, beautiful. So beautiful. wasn't it four point eight? Let's see. I, it might be wrong also. No, no problem. Relax. So, see. If you know that when it is about two, the answer is two v one v two upon v one plus v two. Yes or no? Yeah. So when they are three, 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 the answer is three v one v two v three upon v one v two v two v three v three v one. Similarly, when they are four, we have four v one v two v three v four divided by v one v two v three. V two, V three, V four, V three, V four, V one, V four, V one, V two. Got it? <laughs> pattern, pattern, pattern. You can also prove it the same way. Sir, I just calculated it. I didn't use the formula. Exactly. exactly. You can now. Now you can go like. Is sir why are we investing our time in this? We can be like total distance covered is boom. Total distance covered is sum of one by four, one by four, one by four, one by four, one. Yes or no? Speed is equals to distance upon time. So time is equals to distance upon speed. In the first part, the time taken is one by four. In the second part, time taken is one by eight. In the third part, time taken is one by twelve. In the fourth part, time taken one by sixteen. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Good. The speed is equals to distance upon time. So time is equals to distance upon speed. In the first part, distance is one by four, speed is one. In the second part, distance is one by four, speed is two. In the third part, distance is one by four, speed is three. In the fourth part, distance is one by four, speed is four. Got it? Got it? With all the ways I have given. Okay. Good. 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 Can you please explain once again? Good, 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 good. Oh. Hmm. Four. V one, V two, V three, V four. Divided by V one, V two, V three. Yeah. Yes. Sir, can you please change the color? V two, V two. Okay, okay, okay. Four. V one, V two, V three, V four. V one, V two, V three, plus V two, V three, V four. Clear? 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 V three, V four, V one. Got it? Sir, could you write it in the formula form, like instead of writing it in the numbers form? But I did wrote it in the formula form. Four v one v two v three v four v one v two v three v two v three v four v three v four v one v four v one v two. Clear? Numerator looks like beautiful. 
फोर इंटू टू इंटू थ्री इंटू फोर क्लियर नौ वो बारह आठ बीस और ये पचास दिस इज फोर इन द डिनोमिनेटर यू नाउ वी बी लाइक ओके ऑल द डिनोमिनेटर्स आर एट लीस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव सो डिवाइडेड बाय टू न्यूमरेटर टू Four four is a sixteen. Three is a forty. Yeah, so forty eight by twenty five. Got it? Hmm. So in camera, will the sums be this complicated? This one is not complicated at all. Not this yeah. one, like the other one. Complicated. complicated. Till now, which one was complicated? No, like will it be on the same level? <laughs> Relax. This is a warm-up session. Oh my God! Yeah. Please, yeah. Please, not required. That's absolutely not required. Shri Ram is lead, still leading the scenario. So here we go to the next question. A thief is running away. Yeah, he's making my mistake. No. With the speed of 10 meter per second. A policeman chases him on a motorcycle, moving at a speed of 20 meter per second. If the instantaneous separation of the jeep from the motorcycle is 50, how long will it take for the police to catch the thief? I have my answer with me. And the thief. This was so easy. Yup. You should know subtraction and you should know division, right? This guy is somewhat very embarrassed. Please put your mics over mute. From somewhere, household voice is coming. Someone that tut 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 tarara. Rahesh, please mute. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Aditya Anand. Jile of reason, Aditya. Good. Forty people got it right. That's beautiful, yeah. Why are you guys trying? So you didn't even need to solve, so it's too easy. Yeah. Yes, sir, you don't need to solve. No, no, not required. Please, please. Not. The policeman, the thief. The thief is going at a speed of ten. The policeman is going with a speed of twenty. The difference between their speeds, which is their resultant speed, is ten. The distance between them is 50, so it will take five seconds to catch the thief. G I got it? Yeah. Good. 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 So can you please explain? Okay, I'll re explain that. No problem. See. For very obvious reason, for a chase, they will have to run in the same direction, right? When two objects run in the same direction. <laughs> Their velocities are subtracted. So subtracting their resultant outcome will be coming as 10. Okay. The distance between them is 50. So 10, 5, 5 seconds. G I got it. No, please. Mommy, I have made a mistake. Relax. Yeah, mute. Risha, could you mute? I'll try if I can mute everyone. Have I muted everyone? Yes, I guess. No. Have I muted myself? No. So, so can you proceed? Yeah. So. Arthur missed it. Shri Ram, good. Pratham, very good. And here we are moving towards the next one. A 
okay next question thank you manisha that's really like wow respect beautiful wow two trains one of length 50 meter and another of length 62.5 meter ka train are moving in mutually opposite directions along parallel lines meet each other each with 5 meter per second woof if their accelerations are brr and brr, then the time they take to pass each other will be okay the time they take to pass each other not today not today uh, siddharth not today it will be happening tomorrow Okay, Dhruv, I'll be surely explaining the question, but think about it. Think about it. Think about it. I do think we have not been getting so notification. They're coming. Two trains. Dug, 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 dug. good good relax 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 two trains so isn't it 20 seconds let's see but it might be 20 as well i might make a mistake in calculations okay good two trains one of length 50 and another of 62.5 so this is 112 One one two, yes. The so total displacement is one one two point five. No doubt. Good. Are moving in mutually opposite direction. Okay, along parallel lines. Meet each other with speed five meter per. So resultant speed they are meeting with each other is ten meter per second. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? As they are moving in opposite direction. right good if their accelerations are boom and boom as they are moving in opposite direction even their accelerations will get added so this is the initial velocity their accelerations are 10 15 0.25 meter per second square yes or no yes or no yes or no So can you please repeat? Good. I'll repeat, bache. First thing we have to calculate that what is the total displacement to be covered in order to cross each other. That will be the sum of the lengths. Okay, part one. Sure. Then, with what initial velocity are they meeting each other? So as they are meeting each with five meter per second moving in opposite direction, the final like the actual resultant velocity act clear? Sure. they will be meeting is at 5 plus 5 10 meter per second got it good the total effective acceleration will be the acceleration of one plus the acceleration of other as they are moving in the opposite direction okay so sure. so our calculations will go like s is equals to U T plus half A T square. Good. Sir, it's much easier if you convert it to a fraction. Yeah, I'll come to that only. Very good. Very beautiful. Okay. I won't even attempt to solve the equation. Uh, rather, I'll use the. Rather, I'll use the substitution. But it's okay. 
one of our friends has say, is saying that sir convert it to by 10 so it will become 1125 by 10 is equals to 10t plus can you see this 25 by 200 t square clear in order to neutralize it you will have to multiply by t square okay so 200 when you multiply how did you get u equal to 10 beta there are two trains each moving with 5 meeting okay relax guys no mockery when we are clarifying our friends doubt or don't consider them friend simple got it monisha how i got a equal to 0.25 beta there are two acceleration one and two both accelerations are in opposite directions we will get added 0.25 okay arushi and anyone else arushi is actually doing a favor there are many friends of ours who by god knows what hesitation are not asking even they if they have doubt so arushi is actually helping them out good arush no so i haven't got the times yet okay we have a, we have still reached to the equations okay so <laughs> that will not be deserving your love from monday okay ready sir i think nitya wanted you to explain again okay from where bete s u a is clear yes or no no uh, let's not discuss about this part if yes u a is clear then fairly enough up clear nitya good very good now when s u a is clear when s u a is clear when s u a is clear we have s sorry wrong color is equal to ut plus half a t square got it got it got it good one of our friends suggested sir, yeah, is called it multiply it by 8 ha huh? someone said something in between i missed it out please repeat sir can you uh, reflect just do the calculations a little further yeah yeah i'll do i'll multiply the whole equation by 8 why will i do that because i want to make this as 1 okay clear or i want to take the lcm okay whichever way clear 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 8 times this is equals to 8 fives are 40 16 4 10 10 yes or no yes or no yes or no is equals to 80 t plus t square this is not 2 This is a nine. Yep. Got it. Got it. Okay, good. Let's do it by conventional method. Okay. Take the LCM. So you will be like one one. Two five by ten equal to ten t plus twenty five by hundred. That is two hundred t square. Got it? So 
clear please take the lcm as 200 it will become easier for you okay you will get an equation no need to solve that equation that's my suggestion because options are very much in your favor okay if you want to solve there is a Sri Dharacharya rule that T equal to minus B plus minus under root B square minus 4 AC whole by 2 A got it no that's so cheating. why is B in this ah, B so, okay so this is being taken up from a quadratic equation which looks like this okay so b is the coefficient of t a is the coefficient of t square c is the constant part tony uh, hello tony you will get the update from Rohit he has already sent it I guess okay so could you please repeat okay, the last so one second one by one please. the first one please sir could you please sir repeat the last two steps okay you got this much here? You got you reached to this equation? Yes, sir. Yeah. Good. For solving it, the easier method is to multiply it by 8. When you multiply it by 8, you get 900 is equals to 80 t plus t square. So, why do we need to multiply by 8? In order to simplify that equation, Bache. Clear? If you want, you can proceed like that also. No problem. Clear? Good. Just looking at it, it will be smiling at you. Yeah, this is 800 and this is 100, which will be delivered by a single option straight. Got it? Yes? Sir, it's 853 and we have four questions left. No problem, Bache. We can do that. No problem. Do we have any true false? Kind of. Relax. Good. Sir, I Start think one of those questions will be the opinion or how do you like it? No, no, not at all. Not. Neither both. Krishna, Paghi, why you bully me? Who is bullying you? Who is this? Wah, wah. Chalo. Here we go to the next one. Yeah. No problem, Itya. Three marbles are dropped from the top of a tower, one after the other, with an interval of one second. Okay. The distance between the first and the third after four seconds will be. Relax, read and respond. Yes, Siddharth, you like that chair? <laughs> Sorry, you, you won't hear that sound from Monday. Good, Shri. Very good, very good, very good. Read it, think and respond. Everything when is being dropped, right is drop means initial velocity u is zero by s is equals to ut plus half a t square you can get an easier response good 
misclicked like an idiot. Don't it there, please. Which Wi-Fi network do you use? I am using Airtel. And 21, 15 people got. Right? Look here. Relax. Let's hurry up a bit. Okay? Three marbles are dropped. Okay, first, second and third. Clear? First one at t equal to zero in four seconds will cover ut plus half a t square. 8g. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Why will I even count the second one? Because I am focusing on the third one. Third one for four seconds will only travel for two seconds. Yes or no? So S is equals to UT plus half a T square 2G. The difference between them is 8G minus 2G, which is 6G, 6T. Got it? Anush, what happened here? Very good, very good, Anush. Relax. Good, good, good. Repeat, Ashish, no problem. Nitya, I'll repeat. Sure. See. At t equal to 0, a stone is dropped. At 4 seconds, after 4 seconds, what will be the displacement covered? Displacement covered will be ut plus half a t square. 4 square is 16 and half is 8 g. Got it? Nitya, Arun and any, any other friend of mine, like don't. Good. At t equal to 1 second and then t equal to 2, the third one. So while the clock counts 4 seconds, the third stone will only travel for 2 seconds. Yes or no? Clear? Good. What is the displacement covered in 2 seconds? Ut plus half a t square. 2g. What is the difference between them? 8g minus 2g that is 6g which is 60 got it good next question and before that the board very good very good very good Anush very good very good very good very good here we go to the next one Two bodies are thrown simultaneously from a tower with same initial velocity 20 meter per second. One vertically upward, the other vertically down. The distance between the two bodies after one second is. That's an easy one. One is upward. Okay. One is downward. Okay. After one second. Displacement covered by one body is in one second. Displacement covered by another body in one second. As both are covering displacements in opposite directions. Just add them. You should get the answer. Dhruv is asking what's your mother tongue? Hindi Dhruv. Good Gargi. Very good. Very good, Tanya. Very good. Very good, Siddharth. Why, Gargi? <laughs> Nitya, that's... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, no problem. Take, take, take. So, isn't it 40 meter? Like, how will you say, isn't it 40 meter just by? 
This is the neutral point. From here, one body is thrown up with 20 meter per second. One body is thrown down with 20 meter per second. The displacement covered down is ut plus half a t square, which is 25. The displacement covered up will be ut plus half minus 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 minus. 10 t square. This is 15. 15 plus 25. Answer should be 40. Oops. So I guess there is a misprint. I guess there is a misprint here. Okay. So, so, so the next A right. From A to A right. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. So, so I have a doubt. Yeah, the answer is A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If when you have to find the distance between the two, you have to uh, you have to add them. Oh, you, oh okay, sorry, no. Yeah, but I was about You mean D, right? Yeah. Make it A, right? Because that's like the yeah, 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 exactly. No, there is a misprint only. I, I, I can understand. That. Sir, please can you delete it? We all got no, 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 sir, A is right because it's the closest. How is it close? Yes, sir, because it's the subtraction of the two. The best option will be to delete this. Yes, sir, sir. Please say delete it. Yeah. The best option will be to delete this question. Sir, can you just um, redo the question so all of us can mark it? No, but so that, again, will be a bias. that will be a bias. Thing, okay? So, no problem. We got the solution, which is the important part over here. Yeah. We are moving on to the next question. This question I have deleted. Okay. So that it won't be influencing your leader. Yeah. Here we go to the next one. So, the leader. No, no, that's what that's what last question. Okay. So why in the world have you given one minute and thirty seconds? <laughs> because I wanted to see whether it will come as everyone has responded. Three. I hope everyone will respond. Yeah. So if you like, so is there a trap in this? No, no, no. Very plain, straight. Everybody, that the past tense of had has been used. Fifty-four people got it right. No problem. No problem. I I have marked it wrong. Relax. So what is D? D. So if there actually happened, the leaderboard will change. Yeah. No, no, no. One second, one second, one second. Okay. Why it happened? I guess, one second. I just deleted the question, not the answer mark. Okay. One second. How can this happen? Sir, if D was true, then K1 would have been much easier. <laughs> Sir, if D was true, then K1 would have been much easier. Almost every answer would have been much easier. K1 would have been Yes, we are here. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've checked, but no error, no error at all. Okay, there was one error uh, in marking of one of the answers that has been corrected. 
okay so no need explanation yep here we go to the next one charni both a and b a vector will have good krishna 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 good here we go to the final question the height y of the distance uh, and the distance x along the horizontal plane of a projectile on a certain planet are given by y equal to boom and x equal to boom where t is in seconds the velocity with which the projectile is projected is okay got it i got it i got it Sir, are these type of questions going to come in Camon? Mm, I'll explain you this, but you will not be feeling it difficult. Okay, at at this vision, you might find it difficult. Okay, but in the next show, you will never find it difficult. Okay. Good, sir. Twelve five and. Tell something, I guess. Twelve five. You got the answer. Square root. Good, relax. Very good. You guys got it right. Very beautiful. Now on the Pythagoras theorem, it was correct. There was no way we could have obtained it from the data. Why? From the data only. That's twelve. Only just twelve, five, and then thirteen. Pythagoras theorem. No, no. See, understand. Understand this. This is the x-axis and y-axis. You know, at the y-axis, the initial velocity is u sine theta, and at the x-axis, the initial velocity is u cos theta. If I want the height in y at any random point s is equal to u t minus r a t square any doubt in this can you relate with this u t So which uh, oh okay nothing half a t square got it but a projectile performs two motions simultaneously one in the vertical direction and one in the horizontal the horizontal displacement without presence of any acceleration is given by s is equals to u t only whereas the vertical displacement because of the presence of acceleration due to gravity is given by u t sorry sin minus half g t square got it from here you got okay u cos theta is 5 u sin theta is 12 sir so one second sir yes yes sir, sir. and that you know, on a certain planet we don't know what the g is on the certain planet dear that's what is the crack na that's why this 5 is given clear that okay on certain planet half acceleration due to gravity should be there coincidentally you will get oh okay half g Right or not? It's g for any planet only. For Earth, g is not ten. For Earth, g is nine point eight. Right? If they will write for Earth, then there's a mess. Okay. Good. 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 
sir i bet no one would have calculated this exactly that's why that's why i told na ki when i'll make you reveal that okay how, how you should look at this question then it might become easier few of you even got while reading the question that oh that's that's the, the only part you have to put your brain in that okay 12 okay 5 square root so this is 12 this is 5 so the resultant is the actual launch velocity which is 13 meter per second got it good thank you very much repeat bachche प्राइमरी Sir, if this is going to be there, then I think I'll need three hours to do only physics. <laughs> Krishna, C nine six four three seven. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Thank you very much for your time, guys. You were really good. Just don't Thank do that so all bye. that cutney wala thing. It really. Thank you, sir. Bye. Calm down, my mood. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. No, any send is recommended. Oh, Thank you, sir. Bye. Okay. bye. So that will be sent in uh, kind of twenty five minutes, okay? Because it takes odd twenty five minutes for the recording to get uploaded. Bye 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 bye. Thank you so much, sir.